Hello, my name is Sonia Leon and uh, I'm the uh, artist for Romeo and Juliet. Right now I'm just roughing out the, um, the pencils for a sketch of Juliet. I think it's a lovely melancholy picture of her sort of holding her hair back from the wind. <laughs> Being a bit miserable, but you know, um, that suits her. I like drawing hair in the wind, particularly long black hair because it's uh, has a lot of movement. But yeah, apologies if it's a little bit light, but obviously you can appreciate that if it's a, in the rough sort of pencil sketch gauge, I, I don't really want it to be too too prominent, otherwise it might show in the final piece. But you can see how I usually start all my drawings with just a few um, rough guidelines here and there. I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you're a professional or an amateur or not. I always suggest guidelines, guidelines, because that means you'll get it right first time rather than uh, wander around in the dark. The style of shading that I use is very similar to watercolours in the way that I like to leave as much white and sort of blending as possible. So um, I often use very feathery strokes, um, sometimes they vary from, um, well going from dark to light or from light to dark, but it, it really depends on how, um, how easily the markers can, can bleed a little bit. For super, super shiny highlights, I like playing around with um, high contrast or shading, where um, the point at which the reflection sort of ends, I have a very, very dark shadow which fades out into something lighter, so that's how I'm giving Juliet a super shiny hair. Um, I do quite like these brushy, brushy tips. They're really nice for getting the sort of fine texture, getting the sort of feathery bits of the hair done. It's very nice. When working with mar with markers, um, doing your inks with very very fine uh, liners can lead to some problems because um, naturally with markers there 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 is always going to be some small aspect of bleed here and there, uh, so be careful with using um, super super thin lines. You may want to use a slightly thicker fine liner than ones you are used to for your general inking or your black and white work. Um, you may also want to um, for the for the purposes of style, uh, use more sort of feathery strokes to, to to build up the line width a little bit to show some three some three D sort of shading. Whenever I'm colouring hair or or um, things with a sort of like a shiny kind of texture, for example, I mean, um, um, in this case, you could consider um, Juliet's sort of kimono top to be made out of something that's quite quite silken. Um, do try to think about the direction in which um, the the object that you're colouring is flowing in. I mean particularly important for hair to make sure that your stra the strands sort of like match with the way in which the hair is falling. Um, but uh, when, you're when you're working on clothes and if you want to do a sort of more soft blended style like this, you need to think about um, the contouring. Uh, where does, um, what areas are sort of rounded towards uh, the source of light and um, thinking in terms of 3D, um, how to shade cylinders, how to shade curves or um, general shapes really. Another general tip for clothing is, uh, I, have, I have mentioned that you, it's, good, it's good to think about the overall contouring of, of the, a person's shape or, or the overall sort of shape of, of a costume. but fabric has creases and folds, don't forget to leave highlights in these areas as well. And notice I use the word leave and that's, that's what we do. We don't, um, when you're working with markers you can't, you can't make something lighter, you have to start darker. Um, well, well no, no, you don't necessarily have to start darker, but um, you, can't, it, you can't paint a highlight on top of something if you're using uh, markers, unless, unless you want to use white ink, but then again that, that brings its own host of problems as well. It's much better if you want to give um, an overall impression of a super bright highlight to leave white those areas. So, so please take these into account as you're doing your colouring. Her corset is, is made up of green and yellow with patterns. And what's, what I've chosen to do here to show the, um, the, the, the lighting conditions and the shading is to give the impression of, of this pattern and the shading with a pointless sort of technique where I 
use lots and lots of little dots that gradually sort of um, disperse out as as something has more highlights, as something is um, closer to a light source. End off. End off. End off. End off. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Good stuff.